In this video, we're going to learn how to find the first non-repeating element in an array using C. So we could also describe this problem as finding the first unique element in an array. Let's declare an array of int values. We'll have here int array, and we'll store into this array 7, 8, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, and let's say 8, and then we'll have 7, and 9, and 1. So here we have 10 elements in the array total. And if we look at the elements one at a time here, we have seven, which has a repeating element here with seven. And we have eight, which has a repeating element here with eight. And then with three, three is the first non-repeating element in this array because there is no other three in the array. Let's create a C program to find this first non-repeating element in the array. We'll also declare an int variable called length, and we'll set it equal to 10, where length is going to keep track of how many elements we do have in our array. So to solve this problem, what we're going to do is loop through the array one element at a time, and we'll have a counter variable i that's going to keep track of our current index in the array. So we'll have here a for loop with a variable i that's initialized to zero. We'll continue this loop so long as i is less than the length of the array, and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. So we're going to use i to go through each index in the array. So i is initially going to be set to the index zero which is going to be the index of the first element in the array. And with each loop iteration, we're going to increment i by one to look at that next element in the array up until i is less than length. But once i becomes equal to length at that point, the loop is going to stop because there is no index 10 in this array. So we're going to use this loop and the counter variable i to go through each element one at a time in order in this array. Now, what we wanna do is check to see if the element at that index repeats or not. So is it repeating or non-repeating? In the case of seven, it's repeating. So to check for this, what we'll do is go through the array with another counter variable, j, in another loop and we'll check to see if the element at the index i repeats anywhere else in the array. So let's do that. We'll have here a nested loop. We'll have a loop inside of this outer loop with a counter variable j. j is also going to be initialized to zero. j is also going to go up to, but not including length, by one with each loop iteration. So with this counter variable j and this loop, we're going to go through the array. So in the same way, j is going to start off at this index, the first index in the array, and we're going to increment j by one with each loop iteration to go through each index in the array. And what we're going to check to see is if the element at the index j ever matches the element at the index i. If it does, that means that we have a repeating element in the array. Now, that's only going to be the case if it's also the case that i does not equal j. Because remember, j is going through each index in the array. So initially, when j is here, yes, the element in the array at the index j does match the element in the array at the index i. But that's because j and i are both the same index. So we're going to check to see if the element in the array at the index j matches the element in the array at the index i and that i doesn't equal j. That will tell us that we have a repeating element in the array. So let's do that. Down here, we'll have if the element in the array at the index i is equal to the element in the array at the index j and i doesn't equal j. So the element in the array at the index i matches the element in the array at the index j, and it's not because they're the same index. They're different indexes. So at this point, we've discovered that this element is repeating in the array. 
We'll use a bool variable to keep track of whether or not the element we're currently examining is repeating or not. We'll declare here a bool variable called repeating and we'll initialize it to false. Now to use the type bool, we're going to include the stdbool.h library. This library allows us to use the bool type and what we'll do is before we run the inner loop, each time we're going to set repeating equal to false. So we're going to start off with the assumption that this element is not repeating. Then once we've discovered that the element is repeating in the array, we'll set repeating equal to true to acknowledge that. Now, once we've discovered that this element is repeating in the array, there's no need to continue to check the rest of the elements in the array. So we'll use break here, where break is going to stop this inner loop. Because once we've determined that the element is repeating, there's really no need to continue to check the rest of the elements in the array. Now, after this inner loop has run, the variable repeating is only going to be set to false if the element in the array at the index i that we're currently examining is non-repeating, because otherwise repeating would have been set to true by the inner loop. So we'll have a check for that here. We'll have if not repeating is true, where not repeating is only going to be true if repeating is false. And in that case, we'll output this first non-repeating element. We'll have here printf first non-repeating element colon, and we'll have percent %d to output an int value, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll output the element in the array at the index i that we've determined is the first non-repeating element in the array. Now, once we've found that element, there's no need to go through the rest of the elements in the array. So we'll have a break here as well. And this break is to stop the outer loop once we've found that first non-repeating element in the array. So let's save compile and run the program to test it out. And we get that the first non-repeating element is three, which is correct. So the way it works is I is initially zero. And then when the inner loop runs, J is initially going to be zero. And we'll go through each element in the array, checking to see if the element in the array at the index i has a match. Now, eventually, j is going to reach this index here, and we'll see that this element here does have a match because the elements are the same and the indexes i and j are different. So at that point, the inner loop is going to stop. And then in the next iteration of the outer loop, i is going to be set to this index here, 1. And again, we'll use the inner loop and the counter variable j to go through each element in the array until we find that the element in the array at the index i has a matching value here. And again, the inner loop is going to stop. And the outer loop is going to run again with i now being set to this index here, 2, where we have the element 3. Now this time, we're going to go through each element in the array with the counter variable j, but we're never going to find a match because there is no other three element in the array. So this time, repeating is still going to be set to false, and we determine that this is the first non-repeating element in the array. Now, what if the array only had repeating elements? So for example, what if we had one, two, three, four, five, and then we had one, two, three, four, five, where each element in this array repeats once? In this case, right now, if we save compile and run the program, we're not going to get any output. What we may want to do is acknowledge this case where we only have repeating elements in the array. Let's create another bool variable to keep track of this. Well, if here, bool found non-repeating is equal to false. So this bool variable is going to keep track of whether we've ever found the first non-repeating element. So initially it's set to false and we'll set it to true if we do find the first non-repeating element in the array. 
So we'll set it to true in this case. Now, if we reach the end of the outer loop and found non-repeating is still false, that means that we never found the first non-repeating element in the array because all the elements in the array are repeating. So if not found non-repeating is true, that means all the elements in the array are repeating. And we'll output here no non-repeating element found, followed by a new line to acknowledge this case. So now if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here no non-repeating element found. So this is how we can find the first non-repeating element in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.